You can retire early and often in Florida on someone else's money. That's right. Today, we're going to talk about how you can actually retire early and often right now in Florida. Yes, you can actually get paid to live in sunny, beautiful Florida. Seriously, this is not a scam. I'm not going to tell you that you have to start an Amazon store or uh, get a doctor to um, diagnose you as disabled because of immobilizing back pain, right? You've heard of that. Mm, wink, wink. Now, this is truly a legitimate way to have someone else pay for your retirement. Now, if you don't know, I am Douglas Lucky Larson on the Retire Early and Often channel where we discuss how to incorporate the most important aspects of retirement into your life right now. Of course, great relationships are at the core of every satisfied life, but it certainly helps to figure out the financial part as well. Retirement doesn't sound very fun if you have to eat cat food and live in a tent on the streets of Minneapolis. No offense to Minnesota. <laughs> there are great people there. Uh, and I did spend a lot of time there when I was oh, 19 and 20. There really are homeless people living there under bridges and freezing to death. <sighs> no thank you. If I was going to be truly homeless, you would definitely find me in Hawaii or Southern California or Florida. <laughs> now, I am not talking about being homeless or freezing to death. No, I am talking about owning a home that someone else pays for. Now, I have not seen a better place to do that than beautiful Northeast Coastal Florida. I was there just last week looking at homes and making offers on real estate. The northeast coastal areas from, say, Jacksonville all the way down to Edgewater in Volusia County are very affordable, at least compared to the markets that I usually invest in. I like the coastal areas all the way down to Cocoa Beach and even down to Vero Beach, even further south than that, but those areas do get a little more spendy. Of course, if you want to live right on the water, you're always going to pay more for housing. But in Florida, you can live within a couple miles or even a couple blocks of a beautiful sandy beach and pay less for a house uh, or even a duplex or a triplex than the national average home price of about $350,000. Now, that's the average price right now in March of 2023. Now, I'll be willing to bet that by the fall of this year, the inventory and pricing will be even better. So that's the magic secret for today's video about retiring early and often. How's hack your Florida life? But let's get into the details. You're not going to want to miss this. Now, in case you don't know this term house hacking, it means that you buy a home. Some people even just lease and then sublease part of their home or most of the home to reduce your payment, your mortgage. As we'll see, uh, doing this can pay for almost all of the mortgage, so you don't have to, and that's your number one biggest expense, while you live for free. Now, I promise you, I saw many examples of how this can work right now, in spring of 2023. Now, in a video that I did a couple of months ago, I outlined how I purchased a property three miles from the beach in San Diego County, and how I rent out the main house and I keep the back cottage or the accessory dwelling unit open for my family's recreational use. Now, I can't think of any weather on planet Earth that's nicer than sunny San Diego County. However, with high prices for everything, including food and fuel and also the crazy traffic and the taxes, well, California does not usually make the list for most affordable or even the most desirable retirement destinations. If you add in some very left-leaning politics, increasing crime, and skyrocketing homeless numbers, it's easy to see why many retirees might prefer someplace like Florida these days. In fact, retirees and working people are moving to Florida more than any other state in the U.S. Now, I did a lot of house hacking in my young adult life. I even lived in Hawaii for almost 10 years and on Maui for five of those 10 years. Now, for most of that time, I had other people paying my mortgage. Trust me, 
you can do this with a little creativity. You can do this in just about any state in the U.S., but let's face it, some places are more affordable and also more desirable than others. Uh, just a quick look at uh, the, some of the numbers. Uh, we can see that in 2022, Florida grew by almost 320,000 people, number one on the list of uh, domestic net migration. Uh, that's people moving from other states. Now, that doesn't even include literal boatloads, busloads, and plane loads of migrants from other countries. Now, Florida may have more mosquitoes than just about anywhere on Earth, and certainly their share of cockroaches. <laughs> but uh, you can get bug sprays for that. And with nice year-round weather and more freedoms and better landlord protections than most states, it's a pretty good place to own property and to be able to find great tenants who will pay your mortgage for you. Now, I know some of you are going to mention global warming and hurricanes and inevitable flooding. Yes, those things are real. So just ignore me and go back to living in whatever frozen city you call home. Now, I have two brothers that own properties in Northeast Florida, and they made it through both hurricanes last year, high and dry, because they picked the right properties. And they also did some proper tree trimming, so they didn't have branches coming down on their houses. Property insurance is getting high. It's uh, gonna continue to get even higher, but property taxes are about average in Florida, and income tax is fantastic. Florida has no state income tax, so what's not to love? They also have some incredible homestead protection laws that keep your home safe from judgments and lawsuits. So, back to the topic of retiring early, it's uh, pretty easy to buy a duplex or a triplex that pays you to live in Florida, but let's look at some real examples. <clears throat> In places like Jacksonville and Daytona Beach, with all of their surrounding areas, it's pretty easy to find a home that can function as a duplex or maybe already is a double metered duplex or some places that can even function as a triplex. Um, and you can buy them for, you know, two hundred fifty dollars to $300,000. Your loan on that, even with today's high interest rate of about 6.5% or so, will be about $2,000 per month, including taxes and insurance. Now, tenants will easily pay $1,700 to $1,900 to rent their part of your house. Um, and you can live nearly for free. If you buy the right house, you can rent out the main house for even more than that. If you buy a legal triplex or something that functions like a triplex, you uh, might even make some extra money. Not just living free, but making money. And you honestly are going to have to live a more simple lifestyle with less stuff and a smaller space. But when you live in a sunny, warm environment, you spend a lot more time outdoors. You don't need a big indoor space. You're out walking and biking and hiking and swimming and surfing. You need fewer clothes and zero snow shovels. Keep that in mind. <laughs> There's a house here on the upper right. Uh, got a gray blue one up there. I saw last week. It's uh, near Ormond Beach in Volusia County. Has over 3,000 square feet and is walking distance to a great surf spot. After some updates and small repairs, the total price could still be under $390,000. Tenants in the two larger units would pay for the entire mortgage with money left over for scuba diving lessons or underwater basket weaving, if that's your thing. The living space for the landlord who wants to live for free is a 650 square foot attached mother-in-law apartment. It's cozy, but nice. And did I mention that the place has a pool? Now, if you're looking for even better deals, there are parts of the mainland Daytona area and all the way down in Edgewater and uh, um, uh, Port Orange, where you can buy a, a decent-sized, very affordable home for under $250,000 that can easily pay for itself and let you live for free. But be careful. you got to check out the neighborhoods because mm, sometimes 
those really affordable areas are a little more sketchy than I would prefer. Still, some excellent deals, way better than what I see in Salt Lake City or San Diego, some of the areas that I've invested in. Certainly, way better price than Hawaii, where I've owned several homes. Now, Jacksonville, up to the north, has lots of areas that are pretty decent and also very affordable. There's a pretty good employment base there and lots of retirees. So finding tenants who will pay on time and not cause drama should be easy enough to do. Now, I'm not just pulling my information and numbers out of thin air. I've been a landlord for over 20 years, and I've had lots of experience with house hacking, especially in my younger days. I've also coached a lot of people on how exactly to do this, whether you're a young single person or a small family looking to have uh, ownership but greatly subsidize your biggest expense, monthly housing. You can do it. In Florida, I toured oh, over a dozen properties with an agent who is also a property manager, who also has in-house handyman service repair. So he helped me dial in some of the rental numbers and the costs of possible repairs so that I can say with a lot of confidence that living for free in Florida is the real deal if you're willing to be a bit creative and make a few adjustments in your life. Now, let's just take a look at some real numbers on the next page, and you can see if the math could work for you. So, uh, let's take a look at these uh, numbers here. If you buy a house for about two hundred seventy-five to maybe three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you your rent that you can charge will be somewhere between eighteen hundred and twenty-five hundred. Uh, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance that PITI is going to run you between two and three thousand dollars, and so your monthly um, outgo for your housing would be somewhere between zero dollars. And maybe up to 500. Again, that's living very near to the beach in Florida. Now, uh, it's a uh, <coughs> excuse me, got a little bit of a cold. It's very likely that if you are uh, super creative, you can do even better than this and put money in your pocket. Trust me on this. It is being done and can be done. So, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Is this something that you have done or you're interested in doing or what your concerns might be? To summarize, again, there are lots of possibilities for you to live cheap or free. And you, all you need to do is offset your biggest expense, your housing. And you can free up your time to do the other important things that we all want to do in our early or late retirement. <laughs> now, if you want to take real estate investing to the next level, it's not that difficult to buy three or four or five homes that pay positive cash flow when you're renting out the entire home. And then uh, it makes it possible that you wouldn't need any other income for recreation or anything else that you want to do. Certainly, we all got to eat and we don't want to eat cat food. <laughs> of course, if you have a family of five like I do, you're going to need more income. And in real estate terms, it might mean seven or eight or ten homes. And even that is very doable. Trust me, I'm doing that now. <laughs> I've got many rental homes and it doesn't take that much of my time. And boy, that passive income is fantastic. But Florida has incredible things to offer that you just can't find in other places. Remember, it's not about buying just cheap houses. It's about finding good, solid, affordable rentals where there are workers and retirees who can and will pay you every single month for the privilege of living in your nice properties. Hey, would you do me a favor? Please hit that like button and share our comment, uh, our content, and also please comment below if you haven't done so already, because we'd like to hear what's going on in your world. Thanks again, and I hope to see you on the next video, including one of these right down here, like the one where I discuss where I think the housing market is going in the United States during the rest of this year and into 2024. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.